Good morning, tubers. Welcome back for another adventure. So this is the 1998 Honda TRX300EX. It's from a all-terrain vehicle shop out in Pennsylvania. Somebody brought it in and for whatever reason traded it in, junked it, whatever. It was out back more or less abandoned. And I'm really hoping we could get it running again. Just quickly, front to back, it's really pretty straight, right? The back bearings look good. Um, it looks like it's worth putting some time and effort into. The headlight's intact, it still has the key, right? You gotta love all that stuff, but <laughs> it depends on the motor. Um, this is not a motor that I could test in any way for compression or any kind of stoutness right there's no chain on it so you can't turn it over there's no kickstarter right the only thing you could do is um tickle the electric start but you really don't want to do that if something's broken inside because then you break more things so let's start right at the beginning and see if the motor is intact enough to turn it over by hand and then We'll go forward to electric starter and compression test. Remember for all of this, you need over 50 PSI of compression or it just is not going to start. The one thing that could be checked to get some kind of indication of where we're at is the oil. If you find yourself bone dry in there, that's not a good sign. If you find a milkshake in there, that's not a good sign. Um, I got curious because it appears as if there's oil residue down here. And I wanted to know if that's from a leak or um, just somebody a little sloppy as they fill it. Right now, it seems to be full of oil, so that's, that's a real good sign. Okay. Next, you want to pull the cap off. This gives you access to the um, crank bolt, and then you could kind of turn it over, see what kind of shape you're in. Let's hope <laughs> it's not clang clang shape. 17 millimeters. This engine turns counterclockwise. I'm doing a little, I don't know if you can hear that. Hear a little huffing out the carburetor. This had engine from the appearance, <laughs> right? It's growing mold, um, moss, mold, whatever. I don't think it's been running a while, so it's probably pretty dry inside. Notice I tried to do at least a couple of full rotations. We didn't hear any clanging and banging, so that's a real good sign. You need to get the spark plug out. This is one of those buried ones. So I um I broke it loose already. <laughs> yeah, no bionic hands here. I deliberately this is actually from a Kawasaki. Um I deliberately marked it with the red and I'm very careful where I place it so that I don't lose it. Um, it's perfect for these buried spark plugs. I call them buried. And you guys, that's when you really can't get a wrench in there easily to get them out. Um, for putting them in and out, if you put a little piece of hose over the end of them, it makes life a lot easier. So once you get the plug out, you kind of want to take a look at it. And just off the top of my head, this looks like it was an oil burner. But it's also, what, 22, 24 years old, almost a quarter century. So it's no baby at this point. It's got some, some miles on it, I'm sure. Let's give the starter a quick tickle before we put the compression gauge on it, just to pump some oil around. That starter bolt is kind of hard to get to, the positive lead, but you could go out on the solenoid and easily clip it on, obviously clip to ground. Do not use like your 
shifter or kickstarter or anything to get engine ground when you put power you could cause a little arc weld inside and if you put that on a gear that could start the wear process and uh, death so let's hear it I hear sparks Not bad. Round and round it goes. Let's get the gauge on it. The moment of truth. Well, <laughs> what is that? Somewhere around 35. That's a little thin. What we're going to do now is we're going to check the valves. Let's make sure they're opening and closing all the way. Um, hear that? Sounds pretty good, honestly. Yeah, I already loosened these. Right? Bionic fingers, I have not. Let's check the exhaust. Fingers crossed, folks. Tight valves. <laughs> you hear that? So, <laughs> that's not great. Let's um, put some oil down the cylinder, see if it doesn't improve. I'm hoping for the best. I, I really want to hear this engine run. I'm trying to dig up all the compression I can, so I just pop the carburetor off, right? The maximum air intake guarantees you more compression. I can't hit the throttle and, uh, and um, hold the camera at the same time. So let's see if it got any better. I got just barely over 40. Next up, oil in the cylinder. Let's see if that helps. Remember if you're putting oil in the cylinder to turn it over a little bit before you, you do your compression test, just in case you put too much oil in there. You don't want to hydro lock it. You also want to move the oil around and you really don't want to pump a whole lot of oil into your compression gauge. So turning it over a little bit never hurts. Go slow or you'll squirt oil out the spark plug hole. Anyway, let's hope for the best here. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Is it gonna start? Maybe. Maybe with a little better battery, I could get it up over 60. I think I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to put a um, one of my PZ27 adapters on it. And, you know, we'll hack the wire harness, put my portable CDI box. I say we're going for it. So this thing is ready to go. PZ27 hack, 12 volt CDI hack. Right, don't forget, blue with yellow stripe goes into the input of the CDI under pulse generator. Green always goes to ground. Another ground spark plug wire on, that's all set. I put gas in it, and I think I'm going to put a little more gas in it. Here's, here's the gas line now. I'm just going to trickle a little more in there. Got the choke set. Um, this is a cold, cold, cold start. Old start, cold start. I'm gonna set up the camera. Occasionally interesting things happen and uh, we wanna get it on film, right? Well, hopefully you guys could see everything. So, jump pack on, choke on, see the ice box. Okay, let's 
hope for the best. <laughs> Getting smoke. I'm not liking the way. He... I don't know if you guys could see this. Hang on a sec. All right, check out what it's doing when you give it throttle. See the way it's kind of puffing back. That normally indicates that a valve, intake valve, isn't seated properly. See the way it's kicking out. that um, there is a trick to get around this and let me show you so to be kicking out the carburetor like that I got a stuck valve or I got something in a valve seat so first thing I like to do make sure the valves are loose beyond loose crazy loose right that gives them a couple of degrees of the cam to seal so that's the first thing we're gonna do now the intake valves are like really loose. Second thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put the 10 millimeter on here and I'm going to tap this. That'll put a little um, jolt through the valves and hopefully help it seat a little better. All right, a dozen or so gent, you know, about that hard taps with the hammer each and hopefully it seals. Um, check your valve lash again to make sure they're still loose just in case one of the valves moved up a little more anyway keep your fingers crossed maybe we got it so I tapped on the valves and to increase the possibility of starting let's give it a hoot of this Choke makes life a little easier on the starter. Where's my throttle? Okay. One last thing I learned, sometimes with low compression engines, if you miss starting fluid into them, as you're turning them over, they'll fire up. Also a good way for bad things to happen. So remember, be careful. Tubers. I was just out cutting the lawn and I had this amazing idea and before it died of loneliness I figured I would try it. You know what? Let's give it a couple of squirts of oil in here um, in hopes of sealing up the valves and let's see if we can't get the compression high enough where this thing will start. So I oiled up the valves and I made sure there's gas in it. Turning on the portable CDI box. And the spark plug wire is on. And the wires look like they're hooked up. Choke is on.
get started. You gotta love that. Let's see if I can do it twice. Actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> I like it. So that was a Hail Mary, Hail Mary shot. I put oil on the valve seats and it seemed to give it just enough to start. I wonder if the compression improved from running. You guys want to check that out? So to give it the best compression reading possible you pop the carburetor off. There we go. It's locked, it's tight. Let's see what she does. Wow. Wow. 155. This engine is rock solid. And when it was running, it really wasn't smoking or anything. You know what? Harvey hit a home run. I couldn't be happier with this deal. Um, I, I really have to say, oiling the valve seats, that was a Hail Mary. <laughs> sometimes you're good, sometimes you're lucky, and sometimes you're both. Today doesn't pay for me to buy a lottery ticket. I'm out of luck and I'm out of good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really want you to keep your feet down, your heads up, and I want everybody to get out there and save a Honda today. Bye now.